I lived at my grandmother's all through high school. Um, my, my parents got divorced. I lived with my mom for a little while. I moved to Memphis and lived with my dad for a little while. And then um, I'm, we moved back down here and I, I lived with my grandmother from eighth grade until after graduation. Yeah, my grandma still tells me enough is enough. Life and game, son, it's time to grow up. Maybe next year I'll start acting my age, turn to newly. This is my grandmother's house. And this is where I, I grew up. This is where I lived all through high school. This is my grandma Hazel. She raised me. This is where I live. Yeah, this is their first time to Jefferson. I've been giving them the tour. Doesn't take, doesn't take very long, does it? <laughs> I probably spent more time here playing the guitar than any other place in the world. As a, as a kid, I sat out here for hours. This was the, uh, the spot after school, too. We would, uh, so many of my friends lived on this road. Everybody ended up swinging in here. The best part about, about coming to Grandma's is, is the, the refrigerator. Still, instinctually, whenever I walk in the house, within, within just a few minutes, I'm right over here opening the refrigerator, looking around for something to eat. Because, as, you know, as a teenager, as a teenager, that's the first thing I did when I walked in, you know? Now, this is Corey. <laughs> she said, that's when I had hair. I guess senior prom, that's right after graduation. That's, that's my wife, Shannon. That's her, you know, senior year, her senior prom, I guess. I don't think we ought to get too many pictures out. This is painful. <laughs> I always thought he'd be a teacher, and he was a good teacher. I taught school for largely the same reason I, I play music, and that's just the desire to feel like I'm making a difference. Get a real job and start pulling my weight on the 365 days until I change my way. I'd rather say you were a teacher. Exactly. But <laughs> if you're happy, I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, I'm proud of you, Corey.